Songs, everyone eyes up here. I'm gonna go super fast. So I have Mr. Amoroso talking. Traffic sucks. Get on a bike, get on a skateboard, help the environment, get off the road, by God. All right, so I got him doing his little tirade. I've already downloaded my song. Again, I'm gonna show you where to download songs in a second. So I've downloaded my song here. I'm gonna grab this song and I can do one of two things. I can import it into my browser again, or I can just take it and directly feed it into my timeline. So what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm not gonna cue the song up. I'm gonna make this look a little bit bigger. I'm not gonna have the song start until he is done talking. Now you could pull it in earlier if you have like a montage going or something like that. So I'm going to grab this now, pull this in a little bit, but this always usually has a nice effect that right when he's done talking and notice I'm using the waveforms of the song. I'm using like the little the waveforms to kind of, so now I get it to go like this. A little sooner. So I'm actually going to start the music a little bit while he's still talking. Let's see, maybe zoom in a little bit more. There's the, that's the beat I want right there. Where he says, by God, there we go. Now we got it. So, um, I know I, I ruined it. I only got 10 minutes. So I like this part, right? Pops in here. I'll put text like traffic at MA, boo boo. I'll put traffic right here over nothing. But then I got Heath talking again and I need to turn down the music because I cannot hear. I can't hear him at all, right? So what I gotta do is I have to use the, the pen tool again. So to remind you about audio, you can use it with songs or just your tracks. I'm gonna go to my pen tool here. I'm gonna zoom in, and it's that like, you, you can barely see the line because it's right in the middle. But right here, I'm gonna just make one dot, make two dots, and I'm gonna pull it way down. Now, if you have an instrumental song, you can leave it a little higher. But if the song's got lyrics, especially rap lyrics, not trying to diss rap, because rap is a lot of talking, and then you have people talking. So then you have two people talking over one another. Like sometimes my advanced students do while I'm talking. Oh, they didn't even hear my insult to them. And then, um, and then it's really hard for anyone to understand anything that's going on. So you gotta turn your, if it's, especially if it's lyrics, you gotta turn it way down. Uh, I, I walk, drive, carpool, in the day. The streets around the are... Maybe a little bit lower. So um, I can go back to my arrow tool, pull it down just a few more notches. Maybe it a little louder, but you guys get the idea. That tool again is P for pen. You can either press P or you just click on this pen tool. It looks like that. Um, and you can bring up the audio again when it's not like Now, when you choose your song, choose wisely. We can't have any swear words. So either when you do a YouTube search, you're gonna have to do like clean. If you know the song has swear words, sorry, P, so I'm gonna bring it back up. Like I'm gonna add a montage here after Mr. Frivol talks. So I'm gonna make one more dot, two more dots. I'm gonna crank up the volume right about there. So now when there, and then kind of pull that down again once he starts talking. So you can have the music come in and come out and that's the fun part with these points. You don't wanna turn it so far down you can't hear it but you definitely wanna hear the people speaking more, right? There you go. So the pen tool is what you use. Make sure when you're done with your, oops, when you're done with your scene, make sure you trim it. So either grab the edge and pull it in. And if you wanted to fade it out, remember you're just gonna make a pen. You're gonna have two dots and you can fade it out so that the music kind of fades to zero. Um, and that's about it. Where do you find songs?